Welcome to Kathy D. Slats SRC for You Zoom call for August 27, 2021. We're here on Kathy's website, kathydslat.com, to access the Zoom call, which is a demonstration of the SRC for You software. We'll scroll down and we'll look for the banner. If you'd like to be part of the client group, you can click here and it's a monthly fee. So I'm going to click here. And just so you know, this is just a demonstration of the software. We're going to allow because we're on the Zoom platform. We'll go into the meeting, which is in progress, so it will be live. Prepare your speakers. We are connecting. And we'll join with audio. Microcrystal triangles, and they're all sewn in to um, balance the chakras. <laughs> so there's basically, uh, there's, there's shock, basic, seven basic chakras, plus there's uh, the copper chakras for the feet. There is a sky blue chakras that's for the hands. There is a extra yellow that's under, uh, behind, the, behind the neck. Uh, beneath the uh, occiput. <laughs> so if a person were to get those uh, special, uh, if they, if a person takes their, their normal 20, 20 card kit that they have, all they gotta do is add a few more discs and they'll be able to do a real powerful uh, once a day uh, balancing with their disc. Uh, I think it, I think it's like something like $65 or something. And that allows you to get these the extra uh, extra uh, devices that go along with the uh, the whole kit. And that's not bad because the one that I have back uh, 20 years ago, they were charging, I think 400 dollars, 400, $430. And you basically, uh, the, the, there was a lady that would hand sew uh, the, the, uh, the, look, the triangles. And the triangles, uh, all she did was she would take a, uh, uh, like a pyramid and she would lay the sides down on the four sides of the pyramid. Then she would sew those into the, into the material. And then she would go on ahead and she would take that and she would go on ahead and uh, uh, put it into like a mattress type thing. So that's how they used to do it. So now those are, are no longer available. But the good news is once you get your, your, uh, your kit, uh, the, the starting out price is still 160. It's going to be there for a little while. All you got to do is add in uh, $65 worth of other colors like an extra yellow, extra copper, uh, and, and, and for the hands, okay, the sky blue. When you add that in, you now have a system that you can use every day to balance uh, all the uh, uh, chakras in the body. Some people can go a week without that. Other people uh, need it almost every day. I think nowadays that's pretty much standard. I seem to do better when I, when I balance myself once a day. Uh, so that's what I do. So that's kind of another system. And there are many, many uh, systems that we're going to be covering and they'll all be free and they'll be on the website. So another week or so, uh, you'll be able to go online, uh, AtlanteanColor.com, and you'll be able to see the whole history of how things came about, how I ended up in doing this stuff, um, and uh, you know how I got into all all the, the good good things and 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 uh, why some of it kind of uh, disappeared. Everything has a time and a place. I've noticed over the years. I think you guys all know that uh, it's just the way it is. No, uh, no matter how good something is, it's almost like it hits a peak and then it goes back down again. So after 25 years, I think we're ready for uh, some more for these discs, for the uh, for the color for these colored discs. 
and each one has a symbol. The symbols add to the energy. So where the, what, where the healing comes from is from the symbol. But without the symbol, these would not work very well at all. And I paid a pretty good chunk of money to get, uh, uh, to be able to have the, uh, the legal ability to use these, these symbols. I, I signed a contract with a 99 year uh, contract in, their, in order to use these symbols. I don't think anybody else has a contract for these symbols. So I've got that plus the uh, aluminum oxide crystals inside every disc. Uh, I still have those. They're programmed to work just exactly the way they worked in Atlantis 25,000 years ago. And some of you already know I have equipment that I can use to actually program uh, information into crystals. And all crystals are great, but I'm using aluminum oxide because that's the one they used in Atlantis. That's the ones that they use for the microcrystal cards. And now they're gone, but I've come back onto the scene using the round uh, crystals. We may do something different. Uh, we're kind of checking into that, but for right now, that's what we're using. So that's kind of everything I everything I was going to cover in case somebody, unless someone has some questions, uh, then that's that's fine with me. Well, Dr. Crunchy, in reference to the raisins you said you zapped, uh, what, what was involved in zapping uh, that the copper frequency into the raisins? Uh, let's see, boy, the volume. That's not good. Could you say that again for me? Yeah, what you said, Zach, something about the raisins. Uh, she needed two boxes of raisins to up her iron in her blood, but you said you zapped the copper uh, plate information, or I guess at that point it would have been the card, into the raisins, and so she only needed four. What was the zap? Yeah, the, every uh, microcrystal card, uh, was tuned in to a, a specific vitamin and a specific mineral and a specific amino acid. Mm -hmm. So this gal that was anemic, I simply looked up to see what, what color controls iron in the body. And it was the, it was the copper uh, plate, the microcrystal plate. So when I saw that, I simply took my stack of cards, I pulled out the copper, I took uh, a box of raisins, I set them on top of the copper plate, and I think, I think I left them on there like 10 minutes, 15, something like that. And when I got done, mm -hmm. when I got done, I tested her again for how many raisins she needed. And, that, and by the way, I was using a, uh, uh, I mean, I'll, gla I'll gladly share any of this with people. It's a type of kinesiology, uh, applied kinesiology, where you use a, a person on their back or their tummy, and you look at their heels. And what you're going to do is you're going to add a certain amount of the color or the raisins until you balance the heels so they're, they're straight across. That's, that's how I know... Uh, how many that person needed to to look, to look to uh, get past their anemia, and they very they needed two boxes for sure to get the job done. After I zap the box with the copper plate, copper colored plate, holy cow! Now she needed four, just four raisins. I couldn't hardly believe it myself going from two boxes to four doggone raisins. It, I just, I couldn't hardly believe it. But she was uh, excited to test it, and she was trusting me. So I said, and the blood work didn't cost her anything. It was all free. I told her I'd pay for all of that. So when her blood work came back, and it was almost normal, that's very unusual. She'd been anemic, anemic for years. So if someone were to say, Oh, come on, Gary. She probably would have been, probably would have, it was just a coincidence. That 
anemia doesn't work that way. Uh, a lot of the women that would come in and see me as patients, uh, I did blood work on everybody. If they didn't have blood work, I did blood work. And I would look, a lot of women were anemic. And do you know that most women, but you won't believe what? Oh yeah, I know that. But my doctor said, don't worry about it. And I go, what? And that's, and that's when I start finding out, it was many years ago, I start finding out that mainstream medicine, they don't make a big deal about anemia unless it's very severe. Okay, if your red blood counts around three something, yeah, they're going to have a fit. But if your blood count and your hemoglobin is a little low, they uh, sometimes they don't even tell the patient. I've had women come in to me and I'll say, how long have you been, have you been anemic? And they'll say, I'm not. And I'll say, yes, you are. Here it is. And I'll, I'll show them on the blood work. Uh, their blood count needs to be, the red blood count needs to be four and a half million, five million. And they're like four or less. They go, oh, yeah, I didn't, I guess I didn't realize that. No one told me. Now, part of that's their own darn fault because they're supposed to pay attention to that. It's their body. And the MD, he has been trained to look for uh, more serious issues. So that's why they kind of ignore the minor anemia. Uh, because they figure, well, it's not a big deal, and all the women seem to have it. I'll just let it go. So a lot of MDs, they won't even tell the patient that they're they're, they're slightly anemic because they don't look at it as a problem. But I I do look at it as a problem, and so do many, many, many other holistic doctors. Uh, you're either anemic or you're not. And uh, so I chose the copper, but every single... Uh, disc. Every single Atlantean color disc, uh, uh, most of them are teamed up with a certain type of vitamin and a certain type of mineral. <laughs> and that way, you don't have to necessarily go to the store and buy a vitamin or a mineral. Uh, you can use the uh, Atlantean color disc to zap food or, and what it does, it energizes your food. So it's not doesn't work just on iron. It does all kinds of minerals and all kinds of vitamins. So, uh, and I'm not knocking taking vitamins and minerals for goodness sake. Sometimes you need them, but I just think it's pretty powerful when you when you can skip taking pills and you can simply uh, magnify certain nutrients in your foods by using colors that's basically what this is about i think it's rather amazing don't you think mm -hmm. yeah pretty cool so yeah i realize the bottle of zinc uh that's not going to break anybody up that's not expensive but uh the color blue uh controls zinc levels and some i don't understand all the science of it but basically uh, when we eat food uh, huge, most of it goes right through us. We absorb very little of what's in the food. That's the thing. And as you all know, most food today is, is there's no nutrients in it. It's growing very fast. It's shipped from another country. Uh, uh, carrots have very little vitamin A, some of them. Uh, a lot of foods that are supposed to have zinc have almost no zinc, even though they're supposed to have zinc. And somehow the Atlantean color disc, when you zap the food, it does something to the mineral or the vitamin so that the body now absorbs it. So, so you're you saying just set the food on the disc? Yeah, you, you, can, you, you, would, you, would, you could take the food and set it right on top of the disc, right? Okay. And give, it, give it like 10 minutes or something and zap, and zap the food. Yep, so it's like one of those... Uh, Techniques I mentioned to people. I said there's a lot of techniques that you can use uh, using the Atlantean color disc, and a lot of these we're going to cover. In fact, when the website gets done, I've been told it's over half done. We're going to have a, uh, a page of every color and all the high tech stuff you can do uh, with each disc. 
uh, the last thing I want to happen is someone uh, to get the, the disc set and then end up going, well, shoot, here I got this set, but I don't know what to do with the darn thing. I, where was my head, you know? I don't want that to, <laughs> and by the way, I think I've already told you, I have a couple of drawers full of stuff myself that I bought over the years mm -hmm. that, that I, I, I pick it up, I go, why did I get this, you know? Uh, and I'm not necessarily knocking the companies. Uh, sometimes the way things are now, the company, they can't tell you uh, all the things they know because of, uh, uh, you know, certain uh, ramifications. So, but I get that. But I also get, if I buy a product, you know, no matter what it costs, if I don't know what to do with it, why did I just buy it? You know, mm -hmm. so uh, I think the, uh, the websites, we're going to cover all this stuff, uh, the, the, uh, all the hassles that we went through uh, that demonstrate uh, the power of color and that the government looks down very dark. They, they, they're not crazy about color, not crazy at all about color. Um, color is very, very powerful, and the government doesn't like color. So I do have stories about cases where they actually harass people, and 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 got, and, and people couldn't. In fact, I think the people that started these cards, uh, they never told me this, but they were doing good with sales, and then they just kind of backed away. And I, uh, back in the old days. I should have been pushy and I wasn't because I'm not, that's not me anyway, but I should have called them up and said, Hey, what, what are you doing? You got these wonderful discs, these, uh, these cards, what, where the heck you, what are you doing with them? You know, but looking back, I realized, uh, I put two and two together and I listened to some of their stories and I realized the harassment level was gigantic. And I, in fact, I won't go into that, but, all I did say last time, uh, just for one example, they'd come into the office of my friend and they'd pick up a giant stack of brochures and just leave with them. He just got done printing them. So they did not like color and they um, would follow people that used the color. They would interview people. They would, uh, they just, you know, I just started realizing that that's at the very top. I'm not saying they're crazy about herbs. And I'm not saying they're crazy about homeopathy, but uh, when it comes to color, they're really, really touchy. And I think it's because the color has the ability to reach into the spiritual side of things and the mental and the emotional and make corrections on a very high level. So that's kind of, that's kind of where that went. And uh, so I've tried to read, to, to re reestablish that that um, that power by bringing bringing it in in the form of Atlantean color discs but uh, everything I'm doing is all uh, all uh, things I learned from Kathleen who was the entity from the, from Atlantis she, and she uh, and she's done all kinds of I saw her do a lot of amazing things that I realized you know she was the real deal you know so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm simply copying and using, you know, what she did. And I don't know if I told you last time, but uh, I worked with her over the phone for one year before she left uh, from, with my patients. I'd have certain patients that were tough cases, and I was curious what would Kathleen say about them. So you know, about once a week, uh, I would call. The, the gal that, she, that brought her into her body, she would leave her body. Kathleen would come into the body. And then when she was on the phone, uh, uh, I would give them a credit card number because I had to, you know, I, I didn't, ex they, they weren't going to do it for free. They had to make, they have to make a living. They have to eat. Kathleen, the entity, obviously she doesn't eat, but the other gal, the other gal does eat and her family and her, her, her son. So I would pay give him a credit card number and then she'd say who do you have to work on and i'd start down my list uh nine times out of ten 
I would start to tell her about a patient and she already knew who they were and what was wrong with them. It was the weirdest. I just had to get used to it because it was kind of, at first it was kind of spooky. I hardly had to even say anything. She already knew what I was going to say, who the person was and uh, what, what different colors I could use to balance them. So I, I did have, as far as I know, I'm the only person that did that with her uh, that I know of that actually worked one-on-one uh, -on -one with her. So I have, I have some interesting uh, things I've learned from Kathleen and I'm, I'm passing those on to you guys uh, on the website. Uh, all you need to do is you need to get the set of the, uh, the set of 20 colors. And then if there's anything else extra, sometimes you might need an extra red or an extra blue. Uh, uh, down the road, I'm going to be teaching uh, how to use color in acupuncture. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. Uh, some people call it color puncture and some they call it other things, but there are some really interesting things you can do with uh, acupuncture and color. And you don't have to be an acupuncturist to get it to work. It doesn't use needles. It's very simple. And sometimes it requires two blues or two greens or two yellows. So sometimes you may need to get in and get an extra disc here and there to, to, uh, to, to treat what you would like to treat, you know, your own unique setup. You might need certain colors for your own unique issues, but uh, the, the, the beginning thing, you need to get the, 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 the kit, the starter kit first. Uh, does anybody, does everybody like their kit? Were they happy to see it? I love mine. Oh, okay. I love mine too. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my wife spent a lot of, well, let's don't go into that. The, <laughs> the time that she spent on those, you, you don't want to know, but she was, she wanted to, uh, she puts either a seahorse or a shell on the, on the front. And then she, uh, uses her acrylic abilities. Uh, my wife does a lot of artwork. And one day she said, how are you sending these discs to people? I said, well, probably a plastic baggie. <laughs> she said, are you nuts? Actually, it was a little stronger than that. Uh, and uh, so she said, no, that's not, that's not going to work. So she offered to begin to make these uh, special boxes. I said, the day, I said, I'm going to get very angry on the day when somebody orders a box and says, tells me I can keep the disc, just make sure I send the box. <laughs> I'm going to know something is really wrong somewhere. Something rotten in Denmark, but somebody says, forget the disc, I want the box, you know. <laughs> so that hasn't happened yet. I hope it doesn't. And uh, on down the road, the box design could change. And also we're looking into maybe the disc, uh, our, the, the disc could change too, but they'll still do, all do the same thing. They'll be colored. They'll have the symbol. You got to have the symbol and they'll have the aluminum oxide crystals. They'll always have those you know, combinations. And then uh, I use my equipment to program the crystals to match exactly what they used in Atlantis, which is, which is, uh, sounds far fetched, but it's not, I can actually do that. So yeah, you're getting the real deal when you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So was there any, anything else that people were curious about? Well, I, I guess I am. I'm, I'm real tickled with these, and it looks to me like you send a, a, a dowsing chart. So I got mine yesterday, and I um, doused, and uh, I wanted gold. So once we know the color we want, we can put it under our food, for example. We can carry it around with us. Uh, it looks like we could write down a goal and put the disc on the goal. There's a lot of different ways to go. Yeah, you can even... There's some discs that, that help with dream dream recall. Mm -hmm. You place those under your pillow. So uh, there's lots of ways. And by the way, the other websites on color, uh, none of them have this information, but, mm -hmm. but they're not wrong. They've got good stuff too. So uh, if you see uh, uh, some technique that uses red or green and somebody else has worked up some type of a protocol on another website, 
you can use uh, these Atlantean color discs, and they're going to work just fine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you can certainly, because a lot of people use color already, and they have all types of devices and gizmos and stuff, and I probably own all of them, but I, they, all, they, they all work. Uh, I've never come across uh, a person yet that was like a quack, you know, the, 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 uh, the other side, you know who they are. They, they put down a lot of people like that, and I'm not against that. I don't want a bunch of quacky people either. But it's just kind of odd that in 30 years, I don't, I've never been cheated uh, by anybody in energy medicine. They, they, everybody that I've worked with, what they say they can do, they can do. So how about you, Kathy? Have you, have you always been pretty happy with people for the most part? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, you're talking about people who have open minds, and I'm always happy with that. Yeah, I think, and, and I'll, I'm, I mean, I'm not, for God's sake, I'm not stupid uh there could be some people uh out there for a fast buck and not really uh you know in other words they're giving out information that's not correct uh so i'm not saying that never happens i just never met anyone like that everybody when someone says they can do this or this or this by golly they they do it they, they can do what they say so Mm -hmm. yeah, and I've well, seen I, a little bit of the alternative in some sections, almost is like the uh, mainstream now as far as charging so much and not necessarily getting results. I do see a little of that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and the nice thing about the color, you can use it for mundane things like we talked about last time. If you burn your finger, mm -hmm. you put the blue on it, and you'll you'll notice within 10 seconds it's working. Or you can also work with emotions. Uh, you can work with mental. You can work with uh, spiritual stuff. Uh, and I, but I try to keep everything so it's not quite as airy fairy. Uh, has anyone heard of Orosoma? Is there anyone that's heard of Orosoma? Orosoma has been around for a long, long time. Uh, I met the people that started it. Uh, I took one of their classes. It was like a, a two or three day class. Uh, the one I went to was out west. There was uh, about 200 women there. And there was one man and myself. So there was 198 women and me and one other man. So that right off the bat kind of got, caught my eye. These, and all these ladies were wore long flowing dresses, very colorful clothes. Uh, they were into real high vibratory stuff with color, oh, way over my head. I didn't, I did not connect with them. Uh, I did, you know, they weren't, they weren't wrong or anything. I just, it was me. I was, I was not on the level they were. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you can get into a realm with color that's way over, way over your head. I'm trying to keep things uh, somewhat practical so we can all get, gain some benefit from using the, uh, the color disc, if that, if that makes sense. Uh, Dr. Kersey, could we put a shot glass of water on the disc like we do your others? And oh, drink the water? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, you can, uh, and again, if you're, same deal, if you're using your uh, your quantum energy device, you know, your BET, uh, you can shoot the color into a shot glass. It takes about 10 seconds and you're done. If you don't have a BET, then uh, I would leave it on there maybe two minutes, mm -hmm. uh, which is not a big, that's not long for goodness sake. You can mm -hmm. go and go to the bathroom and come back and you're done. So, um, you yeah, know, you can use these uh colors all kinds of ways carrying them and and some of the some of the discs you put together you put one disc on top of the other and i've been having people just use a rubber band uh, uh, that way because everybody has rubber bands you just take it two colors and you put a rubber band around it and that becomes a new device mm -hmm. so there are certain certain things that you need the rubber band with uh, but yeah the best way to start like i said uh, is get the, 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 the start out, the starting kit, the, the one that has all 20 colors. Mm -hmm. And if you have a certain issue, 
Uh, you might need an extra red. You might need an extra blue. Uh, and like I said, the, uh, the the chakra cloth, which I love. You, by the way, within ten minutes, you're like uh, floating out of your body. Very powerful. Uh, I love that that whole setup. Uh, I have to have uh, the uh, sky blue, two of those, because there's one for each palm. So I need to have two extra two extras so I can lay my palms on. And then I need uh, one extra copper. Remember, the kit comes with copper, but I have two feet, so I get an extra copper. And then the kit comes with yellow, but I need an extra yellow that goes underneath the medulla. So I got the violet and then the, then the, the, the indigo. And then after indigo, it, 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 uh, instead of going to blue, there's actually a yellow in between. And they use that again at Atlantis. Uh, and uh, so you, you would need an extra yellow. But still, for $75 to have an entire chakra balancing system, that's so nice considering the fact I had to pay 400 for mine. Uh, uh, and, but it was worth it. There was a little old lady that, you, that would sew the discs, the, uh, the triangles. She would actually take a needle and thread and sew them into the cloth. So it took her a long time to make one. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, no wonder they were expensive. But now you can get them for very little and you can have the exact same thing. Uh, I just did one last night, a, a, a balancing. And uh, it's one of the few things that you can do where you'll actually feel you'll know something's happening. You know, you can feel, uh, cause so many things you can't feel it. Uh, uh, sometimes my sensitivity is not as good as I'd like, but with this thing, you feel it. Yep. Any other questions? I wonder how that compares to balancing your chakras with the uh, Skio Indigo system. Cause I, I haven't ever been able to feel that, but supposedly it does it. Well, I don't know. I, I, if, if, you, if it doesn't need balancing, you might not feel it. I can understand. That makes sense to me. It'd be like, uh, uh, it'd be like getting a full body massage for an hour and then going to somebody else to get a massage. You're, it's not going to feel all that great because you just had one. You know what I mean? So Yeah, but sometimes like the the screen will indicate that the chakras are out of balance and then you do what you do on the system to balance them. Oh yeah. I mean, my goodness, it could be, uh, it could be something you hear on the radio. It could be something you see that that's kind of disturbing and that upsets the balance. It, uh, can, it can be just that easy. You can a, a phone call. Somebody could call you and tell you some information and you hang up, you don't feel quite right and what happened you're shocked you, you've got it you need to realign things because uh, yeah it's not it's not hard to knock those out of play particularly the day uh, in this day and age with all the stuff going on uh, but everything I've been hearing is good news I realize we were not on here for politics but I just heard that uh, two days ago Germany is uh, uh, they seem to have moved away and then the government is having a shift. And I've been hearing rumors that each country is starting to fall back into more of a spiritual alignment. Uh, and I guess Germany's one of the first ones. So I, I just heard that today. Sounds pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Dr. Dr. Kersey, this is Annie. Yeah. Um, I, I actually heard something similar to that. So just to clarify, do you recommend that we use the SRC to um, appraise what what we're, what our needs are before we do the disc, and then that'll give us the data for what we can do with the disc? Yeah, to know one way of using the color is uh, by formulas, formulary, and you can also do acupuncture with a formulary. You simply take a book. Look up what's wrong with you, and it'll tell you what to use, right? I'm not knocking that. Sometimes that can do amazing things. But having said that, that is not the best way 
when you're getting into chronic issues, long-term things, uh, you're, you need some way of actually test asking your higher self uh, through either prayer or meditation. You want to tap into your higher self and say, look, these colors are good for this and this and this, but what is my color? What do I need now? See, that's your question. And it might, it may not be in a book. It may be something specific for you. And the only way I know to do that, there are only a few ways. Uh, and I, they're all forms of dowsing. You can use prayer. And if a person tells me they use prayer and it guides them into using the right colors, I'm not going to knock that. I always have to ask, though, does it really do that? In other words, do you actually get a protocol? And if they say yes, then I'm not knocking that. If they can do it with prayer, for goodness sake, do it with prayer. Uh, and another way, of course, besides prayer, is, of course, the meditation. And another way is SRC. You can use SRC. You can also use a pendulum. You can also use dousing rods. Uh, I've met people over the years that can damn near tell you what you had for lunch just with a dousing rod. They were, I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Uh, but all these are forms of dousing. The, the, the disc, the, the uh, pendulum, the dousing rods, it's all forms of dousing. And what you're doing, you're asking your higher self, uh, what color or color discs do I need right now for whatever I'm going through, whether it's an uh, emotional support or a health issue or whatever it is, uh, dousing is the way to go. And the SRC can do that. You can scan yourself at SRC. Yeah, and look for, if, if, that's, if that's the method you use, for goodness sake, if, if you like it and it works, you know, don't jump around. Use what works. You know what I mean? Uh, yes. I've been fascinated by dousing. So I actually can, I can work all of them. Uh, but, uh, but my favorite is the touch plate. That's how I actually scan. But I could use pendulum. I can use dousing rods. Uh, uh, I can use my fingers. I've met people that use their fingers. Uh, I met a guy once that used a piece of rosin. That, that you, you know, like on a, on a violin, there's, a, there's a, a cube. And you rub that cube across your, your violin bow. And then that's what you play the violin with. Somehow he could rub on that. And uh, he would rub his thumb across it and it would drag. It would make like a squeaky sound. And while he's dragging it, he would start asking questions of his higher self. And when he got the answer he needed, the thumb would go slick. It went from uh, a squeaky sound to no sound. I watched him do it numerous times. And that was his way of doing it. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't in a million years be able to get that to work, but it worked for him. And so that's what he used. So there's all kinds of ways. You've probably been in a health food store, haven't you, Kathy, and seen someone holding their fingers? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. All the time. Yeah, and, I, uh, and I've used that. It, I can make, it works. I can get it to work. Uh, if I was, I like, one reason that's a good method is if a person says, oh, I like pendulum, but what if you're somewhere and you forgot your pendulum? Now what do you do? See, I think it's nice to learn a technique uh, that you don't need, you can use it wherever you are. And of course, you always have your fingers. Uh, and I use my finger and I rub on a, what I do, I, I rub on a, on a surface that's real slick. And then as I go across, I, I scan in my head different issues and questions. When I get the answer I need, my finger sticks. It, it, it actually sticks to the surface. So that's how I know. So. Uh, I think everybody should have at least one technique that they can do if they're away from the house, you know, but that's just me. That's just me. Hello, Dr. Kersey. This is Joanna McGrath. How are you? 
Hi, how are you doing? I'm great. Um, I missed the beginning of the session um, because I wanted to record it. And um, I wanted to know if you do an intro for me. And then I wanted to ask if in the intro, if because I missed it, I'm so excited <laughs> because um, Kathy and I were talking about um, your disc last night. And I was thinking, well, I really like the SRC and it really does everything for me. And what, for whatever reason, <laughs> I'm on the call and I am so jazzed. I'm going to order right after we get off the call. But could you also include that information, how to order your discs? You know, just, uh, just, just email me, quantumcareLLC uh, at Gmail. Just, just place the order through email and, uh, and then I will, I'll call you. And I'll get a I'll get a credit card number and we'll we'll go from there. Uh, the uh, story, the quantum, the 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 uh, the whole story. I guess you call it the Kathleen story. How we met her, how she came on board and started teaching all this stuff. Uh, I that's good. There's a, I actually wrote a little little story like that from the beginning. How I got into it. Uh, and it, by the way, it's not it's not boring. I mean. Oh my goodness. It's, uh, I mean, George told me himself personally, he told me that every morning he woke up with a phone number in his head. I've never met anybody that had that happen. Now I know people do, but I had never met anyone like that. And he said every morning there was a complete phone number in his head. And after about three weeks or four weeks, he finally just got tired of having that number. And somebody said, George, for God's sake, why don't you just call it? So he calls this number in Michigan. And guess what the first thing I, I said? I went over this last time. Guess what the first thing the voice says on the phone? They said, it's about time you called. And he about dropped the phone. <laughs> they, were, they were waiting for him to call. And that's when they said that they, he had been chosen and I, I get this is all past life stuff. I get that. Uh, this is not the first time they worked together, but he was working with them again. And, and he was an attorney and they chose him to be the spokesperson for the uh, micro crystal cards. And so their time has come and gone. And I, I got more of a modern version of that. Uh, my goal was to make sure I could make an exact duplicate. I wanted to make sure my products were just as good, just the same. And so that's what we had to look into. But in the next week or two, those, those articles are going to be published. They'll be online. And uh, Joanne, you can get, you'll be able to get all kinds of really good stuff right off the website. And if you want anything else extra, why, when we hang up today, just give me a call. And tell me what you need, and I'll see about getting it for you. That's awesome. Thanks. I'm going to probably order two sets, just FYI. So I have two of everything. <laughs> well, I have I have two sets. I they're they're both three fourths done. Uh, now that's the one downside, and you would you would think there wouldn't be a downside, wouldn't you? Uh, I, I go on about how great everything is, then I turn around and say, but. I hate butts, by the way, but they take a long time to make. That's the problem. If as when the when the when the website's up and people start ordering uh, in a very short time, I don't know how long a wait it will be. It, it's time consuming, so I need to find another way of making them faster, but just as good or better. And my wife, th my wife does acrylics. Uh, she makes all kinds of designs. She mixes two chemicals together uh, and then they harden, but she can make any color in the world. And there's a possibility uh, she might be able to, uh, we might be able to create some discs. And of course it will still use aluminum oxide. And by the way, uh, all crystals are fantastic. I'm not knocking any gemstone, you know, sapphires, rubies, uh, they all have a place, uh, but the only reason I'm using aluminum oxide is because that's what they use in Atlantis. The lady that actually was from Atlantis 
told us that's what she uses, what they use. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to change that. I, you know, so if someone says, well, can you use other crystals? Probably, but I'm not going to change it. I'm going to stick with exactly what they did in Atlantis. That way I, I'm, I feel like I'm on firm ground. Uh, so if someone says, Hey Gary, are you sure these are authentic? I can say as, as authentic as possible, you know? We were in Gulfport um, a couple of weeks ago, and there's a lady, um, very, very like, she's she stays away from people, but she came up to me and this other lady, and um, the lady told me she was from Atlantis, and I can't wait to go back to Gulfport because I really want to meet her again, but it seems like there are people here on this plane that are from Atlantis. This is all strictly my opinion, just so everybody knows this is not medical advice or anything, but they're here to help humanity. I mean, I may be completely off guard, but I'm just like, wow. And the technology and you're putting it out there. I'm just so jazzed. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I, I'm like you, uh, you know, you kind of believe what feels right to you. That's all we can do. Uh, I've been told that, uh, uh, I met a chiropractor once that was from Atlantis, supposedly, and uh, and then I mentioned that to another woman, and she laughed and said, oh, oh for God's sake, she said, those chiropractors, they're all from Atlantis. <laughs> and, she went, and, and, she, and I thought she was making a joke, but she actually was dead serious. She said, a lot of people that were Atlantean have incarnated now as doctors and teachers, so uh, yeah, she wasn't she wasn't making a joke. She she literally met a lot of doctors have come forward, particularly the natural healing doctors, mm. uh, and their their roots are from Atlantis. So I think there are all kinds of people that are that are Atlantean that are that are uh, incarnated now to uh, you know bring bring the world to a new level, which I think we're on on our way. Uh, and I don't think they can, uh, everything I'm hearing is all positive. And of course, I try to stay open-minded because you know how that goes. Um, you can get in a rut and you start hearing what you want to hear. Mm. And you say, well, everything I hear says this. But another person would say, well, that's odd because everything I hear says this. It's like, who's right? I try to stay open-minded, but everything I'm hearing is that we're on the uh, like there's that one video that, that went around, it's like 15 minutes long, uh, that talked about uh, the chessboard. They used the example of chess, and that the, 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 the dark side and the light side are playing chess, and there's seven moves left. They just, I, I think they just picked that number, but maybe they didn't. But he said there's like seven moves left for checkmate, and the light side is going to win. And the dark side already knows that, but they're going to keep playing it out to the hilt. They're going to stretch it out and, and still fight for that ending position, even though they know uh, they're going to lose. And uh, uh, that Flower of Life workshop, which I think everybody on the planet has taken by now, uh, I mean, it's been around for so long, but uh, 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 the uh, Drumvalo, You've all heard of Brunello and Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. I heard him say 25 years ago that uh, everybody's vibration is getting faster and faster and faster, yeah. and that the light side uh, will will come out on top. That that, that it's a winning thing, and that's that's just a, that's coming, just a matter of time. So I I kind of feel positive that, about what's going on right now. You know, what about you guys? Yeah, with all the negative and all the stuff that's been coming out, they're definitely desperate and they're losing at a faster pace, in my opinion, than, um, you know, because so much positive stuff is coming up. And even working with Jennifer Van Allen, she's come up with a solution against all the individuals that have taken the vaccine and stuff. She's trying to help them. And just all the, you know, because like Kathy points out, you know, with, with negative, there's positive. With positive, there's negative. It's like the yin-yang. So 
I'm like, it's true. It's really true. <laughs> no, I think, yeah, I, I, uh, and I think it was uh, Drumdall that also said uh, the vibration of everything is speeding up, um, even the planets. Well, in other words, it's not just Earth. It's all of the planets. Uh, everything in our galaxy, the frequencies are speeding up. So now, as far as what's going to happen, are we going to make a transition? Are the poles going to flip? Uh, are we going into fifth, fifth density? That's that's where everybody kind of has their own theories. I mean, they people kind of argue over that part as to what to expect. But nobody argues the fact that our frequencies are going faster and faster and faster. They all agree with that. So I'm I'm excited. That, I always like to hear when everybody agrees, you know, on the same exact thing. That's that's always kind of encouraging. What if we raise our energy, because I've heard this, what if we keep raising our energy up, 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 that, um, and we, we maintain it at the up, up, up level, and we watch, because each individual comes here to experience Earth at their, at their I don't know, level, I guess, I don't know how to explain it, but, but for us, you know, to help. It's after everything, like, what do they say, after all the pieces fall or whatever, something like that? What if we, you know, could basically then, like, just help? But that's what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to raise my vibration and, and go from there. Exactly, yeah. And I, I, like I said, I think it's going to happen uh, anyway. I've also, I think you've been told this, I've been told this, that, uh, and I don't know if it's I don't know if I believe it. I'm still, like... 50 50 that uh, in the old days, centuries ago, uh, people could uh, elevate themselves and they could go to the next level on their own. Uh, but now, in this day and age, that's not going to happen anymore. In other words, everybody, need, we need to go as a unit together. We all need to go together. Uh, so I don't know if that's true because. Gee, many Christmas, it seems like some people uh, are so backwards. I don't know if they're ever going to get it. Uh, but I've also been told that we're at the 60%. I think Kathy and I talked about that, that some people are saying 60% are awake now. And it used to be there was only 15% that was awake. And now they're saying 60% is awake. So maybe there's something to that. Maybe we can't transition until we all do it together that's that's just a possibility you know um i read a book a few years back called the celestine prophecy and i actually got to meet the gentleman and when i touched his hand i was like woo but um in the process of all from that point forward um i've been reading a lot up on tesla and um scalar technology and yep. What I found out is through all these different religions, it's prayer is our common denominator. Mm -hmm. So when I put information out there, I try to express it doesn't matter what religion you are. We can all come together in prayer. At least we can agree upon that. Do you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. And then with the prayer, you know, with one person, and this is not to, like, get religious or anything, but when two or more are gathered in my name, and I apologize for taking it out of context, but it's still the concept of, you know, with as one person, you can make a difference. But with two persons, you know, and then more, you've just turned into what I call, and it's my opinion, not diagnosing and everything else like that, but we create what's called scalar technology. Because when um, back on the days of the wall, they had the hieroglyphs where, and then they had these statues against the thing where all these people did was pray. So what if... As a group, we just come together and pray for just, for example, for the highest and best and in a perfect and correct way for Earth and, you know, to keep raising her vibration. And along the way, everybody that's here to experience Earth or whatever, um, it helps them because because my life hasn't been perfect. I mean, I've had more heartache than I have at anything else, but I still try to stay perfect. And I, I mean positive and, and and walk out with a smile where people like you know they don't know my walk unless they've been my shoes 
So regardless, you know, I just try to keep everything positive. So what if people like me that had had a hard time, we come together as a group and, you know, the energy just like comes to them and helps lift them up. Are, do you think maybe you would consider in the future doing like a, a prayer group? Oh, why not? Why not? Yeah. No, I agree when with more than one person. The, uh, there's something special about that energy. Uh, I've come across people online seminars where they'll, they'll talk about two people. Uh, I went to a, a workshop once where they, they did, they believed in three people. They said that they, uh, uh, they were a, uh, a group who, uh, would, they could, uh, remove, uh, uh, dark energy that had gotten into people and they, what they worked as a group of three and they would, uh, the one lady would close her eyes and they would give her an address and she could then uh, go and find the person that they needed to clear. And uh, they would do things like they'd go into a prison and uh, clear dark energy from some of the prisoners. Uh, so they, and they, they said the three was important, but I've also heard people say five is, is an important number. So I don't know. It just, everybody has their own idea of, what, what, which number is special, but, uh, I agree with you. Yeah. More, the more, I think more the merrier. Why not? Yeah. When you look at Tesla's technology, the three, six, nine, and someone had pointed out to me, um, what's between the three, six, nine is where you manifest. And Kathy has been using these frequency numbers, uh, grab avoids. <laughs> and, and I tested them out again, just to make sure it was like the real thing. <laughs> and I just want to, yeah. with confirmation, it's the real deal. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, if anybody, uh, has any questions, uh, I'll be the, by the phone all day. You can call anytime. At, uh, if you don't have the phone number, uh, I can give it or Kathy has it and, and also email questions. That's okay too. So yeah, that's the way, that's the way we'll go with it. Do you want to give your information again for everybody from the name of the company on down to your phone number and email address? Well, the, uh, the, the website will be, uh, uh, atlanteancolor.com will be the website when it's up. And, uh, like I said, it's, it's about halfway done. So it's getting pretty close. That's the website, atlanteancolor.com. And then, uh, uh, quantum care LLC at Gmail. That's the best email to use for me. Quantum care LLC at Gmail. And then my phone number 407 three eight three five nine one nine you can text that you can call me or you can send a text either one's fine and that's okay it. well that sounds good then I, uh, this is a lot of good information good well, i hope everybody learned something thank you dr kersey you're quite welcome we'll, uh, yes oh we'll thank you again. yeah we'll do this again soon okay, okay. Thank, thank you, you. Thank thank you. Thank bye you everybody much. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you, Kathy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. This concludes the SRC for You Zoom call, which was with Dr. Kersey today, and he left all his information. And feel free to give him a call. And also, don't forget about Kathy's website. Come on over and join our SRC for You Zoom calls, where she goes over the SRC software demonstrating it. And if you'd like to be part of her client group, you can click here. Let's see if it'll take me over there. And um, it says by invitation only, so if you have any questions, please feel free to call her. Her number's right at the top. And all the information to join the energy group is here and the disclaimer, and you just hit submit and you're good to go. And the payment button is right here, and it's a monthly subscription. We'll go back to the home page here, and here's the Zoom button for uh, Monday through Friday, 10 o'clock, unless there's holidays and stuff. Um, she'll be doing a Zoom call, or God forbid something else comes up, or because we love her Zoom calls. But again, here's how you join her group. Here's where you click to join the Zoom call. So with all that said, <laughs> thank you very much for your time. We look forward to seeing you again. Till then, take care and be well.